ramping up their vaccination outreach as all students are expected to return to New York City public schools in less than six weeks. Well, you know, we're making phone calls. Our principals and our teachers are reaching out to families. Um, and this is the last week to get vaccinated, to be fully vaccinated for, for the, before the first day of school. But this is not the last moment. And so we know how important this is for New York City. August 9th is the last day for kids 12 to 17 years old to get their vaccine, to be fully vaccinated by the start of school, according to the city's health department. Right now, the city is focused on the Bronx, where just 46% of people are fully vaccinated. That's also the borough where the most amount of parents are asking for a remote option, concerned for children's safety in schools as cases of the Delta variant increase across the city. Schools Chancellor Misha Porter was on the PIX11 Morning News, reiterating her strong stance on a no remote option, but would not offer specifics on additional mitigating factors for children under 12 not eligible for the vaccine. We will always have um, what we've had in the past, which is a um, an option for immunocompromised students, but we will not have a remote option. Um, we believe that the most critical way for our young people to learn and to learn effectively because, you know, the, the second health risk is the mental health from being disconnected. Right now, during the city's summer school program hosting 200,000 kids, 178 classrooms are closed due to COVID cases. Five times that amount of students will be in classrooms in September. Then, you know, those kids can't quarantine and do nothing for seven to 10 days or whatever it's going to be. Bronx middle school teacher Jake Jacobs wants to know the city's plan. Are we trying to prevent the spread of COVID or live with the spread? We still don't know how it's going to work. You know, the city says that we're going to be able to socially distance uh, three feet all kids. I don't see that happening. At a town hall Tuesday night, we learned the teachers union is pushing the city for a remote learning option. Teachers and students have been under mandated testing. Teachers will remain under mandated testing right now. The government cannot do mandated testing on students because it does not have a remote option. With six weeks left until the start of school, what we can determine is that the details are still being hashed out between the union, the Department of Education, and the city. On the Upper West Side, I'm Calarama, PIX 11 News.